Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about this gorgeous Coach Tabby 26. This is in the Pillow Tabby, um, and it's a shoulder bag, crossbody bag. You can really, really use this anyway. It's very versatile. So we are going to get straight into this. Small city thinking, I get why you left. Small-minded people, sure know how to drink. All right, guys, so let's get into the specifics of this bag. So we have got 10 and a half inches in the length. We have got five and three quarter inches in the height. And then we've got uh, three inches in the width. To me, that looks bigger than three inches. So I think we're going to go ahead and measure ourselves. I don't know if that's at the top because it comes down. Um, but this is so beautiful. It's in the puffy um, there's so many variations of the tabby, you guys. Um, again, this is the 26. Um, there's also an 18, but there's also different um, leathers. So this is in the Napa leather. Um, and I want to tell you a little bit about Nap Napa because it is, it's, it's super high quality. But, I mean, it's just super, super soft. I love the way this feels. Even the Coach tab is, right here is puffy so cute um it's got two straps uh it's got the small strap and per the website it is the the short strap is seven and a uh seven and a quarter inches um for the drop of course i'm going to do it on my own to kind of see and then you've got this adjustable and this is pretty heavy duty the bag itself is heavy duty it's beautiful you've got one two three four five six seven holes um, for adjustments. So this could definitely um, fit various heights. And I will do mod shots. You can wear this over the shoulder. You can wear this cross body. You can wear this on the crook of your arm. Very versatile. Um, the straps are, this one of course is just removable. This is removable and adjustable. And everything in this bag is leather. So it's leather throughout the interior, the exterior. Um, so it's the Napa leather and then the interior is a smooth leather. Um, it's got the gold tone hardware. Yeah, this is, I've always loved this bag and it has that nice little gold detail on the side as well. It's a beautiful bag. So you've got the snap magnetic closure, and then you've got two interior pockets along with a zipped compartment. This reminds me so much of the Pochette Matisse, and I'll bring the Pochette Matisse out so you guys can see like the size reference, but it's got a beautiful pocket here, a zip compartment here, and it is pretty fluid. That zipper is pretty nice. Of course, it's not nearly as big as the other luxury brands, but um, it's, yeah, it's pretty teeny. Not substantial at all. You've got the coach leather border there. And of course, it's, it's very roomy. This is really spacious. Um, so of course, we're going to see what fits inside as well. But it is, I love this. So a little bit about um, I think let's go over uh, again. I will, I will definitely measure this myself, but as far as the website for this detachable strap, the longer strap, you're looking at 21 and a half inch, uh, strap drop. Um, so easily you could wear this crossbody again. Um, it actually, where it sits right now, when I put it on, it fit beautifully crossbody on that fourth hole. So for the taller gals, they can go, you know, to the very last hole. And of course, if you want to put it over your shoulder, you're going to go ahead and put it on this hole right here, the very top hole. Um, but I'll show you all of the ways uh, you can wear it. And again, you guys, this comes in every color. I mean, there's different variations of the tabby. They have a more structured tabby. Just you can get the tabby in pretty much anything, but this puffy one is what I really gravitated toward because it's absolutely, I mean, it's so beautiful. So a little bit um, about the Napa leather. Again, like I said, it's top quality um, and it undergoes a training process um, that's softer and more pliable uh, than most of the hides uh, that are used for bags. Of course, Napa Valley is in California, um, but... 
oh my goodness, it's just so squishy and soft, so comfortable. It is a little bit, um, it's got a little bit weight of weight to it too, so I'll, it'll be interesting to see when I put, you know, articles in there, what, what it feels like. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. They said that it's typically, this type of leather is used for upscale vehicles. So you're not getting, you know, you're getting a quality piece right here for sure. Um, I think, yeah, as far as the, you know, you can get lambskin, you can get cowhide, like cowhide leather. I mean, it's made of all the different types of, you know, unfortunately, different types of, of, of hides. Um, so you've got goat skin as well. Um, but so durable. I mean, so beautiful. This is just honestly a quality, quality leather. Um, so again, you're getting really good. I mean, as far as fashion brands go, you're getting bang for your buck, um, with this particular bag. And then here is the, this particular one is in the Amazon green. There's different color greens too, but this is the actual, if you guys were interested, this is the skew with the information on there. And I think this is a really good versatile, I mean, it's, a, to me, it's like a neutral. It's like a black, it's like a, blue, you know, navy blue. Um, you could really get away with this with so many different colors, black, white, tans, grays. I, I mean, I, I think it's a really great neutral for sure. And again, that's in the Amazon green. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'll show you the interior one more time. And then we're going to get straight into what can fit inside. And I'll measure it myself as well. And then of course, mod shots. I've wanted to add a green bag to my collection for quite some time. This is actually my daughter's bag. She was obsessed with this color. She wanted a green bag. So, of course, um, I wanted to get this for her. Um, I wish you guys could feel this. Super soft. So, it'll be interesting to see how it wears as well. All right, I'm going to stop mumbling and uh, get to what fits inside. All right, real quick, guys, I wanted to show you the size comparison because, I said, like I said, the interior to me, this reminds me so much of the Pachette Matisse. There is the Pachette Matisse, and I think this, um, I think height-wise, this would be super comparable to the Pachette Matisse East-West. I love that bag, too. I have to do a video on that one, but I think it's more comparable to the East-West as far as the height. But there's the Pachette Matisse. And again, the interior for the coach, Tabby, you've got two really spacious compartments on either side with the zip closure. The Pachette Matisse differs in that you've got, there's no zipper on the inside. You've got two spacious compartments, that first compartment and that middle compartment, but that back compartment is pretty much for like receipts and thin, thin items. And of course the coach Tabby is leather throughout this has the microfiber lining on the interior and then tabby does not have a pocket on the back nor does it have feet so there's no pocket i wish it did have a pocket but that's neither here nor there i mean it's still beautiful and functional so you've got that and then of course the pochette matisse has the zip pocket um, on the back and it's got the strap that's removable and adjustable and then the top handle of course that's not removable um, what else? Oh yeah, and this has no feet either, but yeah, that doesn't bother me at all. So that is the difference between these two. Again, I think this would be more so the size of the East-West um, Pachette Matisse. All right, so now let's see what fits inside. All right, so let's get into this. Um, first, I want to see, of course, if a full-size wallet will fit in here which I most definitely think it will. So it fits in that front compartment, but it takes up a bulk of it for sure. Let's see if it fits in this zip compartment. And it's a struggle, I think. Yeah, I would definitely not. The Emily is too big for that middle compartment. Um, I bet I could have forced it in, but I don't want to do that. So we'll put it in that back compartment and see what that looks like. 
and it fits back there as well. It is, again, taking up a bulk of that compartment. Um, so if you'd go compact, I think you definitely have a lot more room. So we'll leave that in there, see what else fits inside. So we have um, the iPhone and this is the Pro Max. So we'll put that right there. And that fits beautifully. Then we've got our AirPods. We'll stick that in the corner. Then we've got a Kindle. So we'll stick that in there as well. That's pretty nice, especially for those of you who do not carry a lot. That fits quite a good amount for every day. Um, here's my little note like my little binder, we'll stick that, I think. Let's see, if we stick that there, I think, let's see if we can close that right now. Yes, and it does close. And it does feel a little bit heavy, it really does. I wish I had a scale, because it does feel a little bit heavy at this point. But it's not wonky or anything. It hasn't changed the structure with all that stuff in there. So that fits beautifully. And then, of course, you could put like a uh, card holder in the middle here, receipts. Let's put the card holder in the middle. And that fits beautifully. So the card holder is in the middle. And it's still, let's see if it will close. Yes, it will. And that's a strong magnet. It's a great magnet. Super strong, so you don't have to worry about it flipping open. Um, so let's take that out. I just want to show you. Again, the zipper's so fluid. It's absolutely fantastic. The zipper is great. Um, I certainly would not use. I feel like this is so organized enough. There would be no need for a bag organizer. So I think you're good there. Um, That's quite a bit. So we're gonna do another scenario with our card holders and our compact wallets. So we have the Victorine, and we're gonna see if that fits in the middle, because I know a lot of you um, like to have that closed in. So the Victorine is too big, it's too tall for it. It fits in otherwise. So let's go with a more compact wallet like the Rosalie. We'll stick the Rosalie in there, see if that closes. Yeah, and that does. The Rosalie fits in there beautifully and it does zip up. So if you wanted to take something like that, you could fit the Rosalie in there. Let's see if our Gucci wallet will fit in there. And again, it's too tall. So the Gucci wallet will not, it'll fit, but it won't zip up without, yeah, without getting in the way for sure. And you certainly don't want to ruin your pieces. Let's see if the Chanel card holder fits in there uh, and is able to zip up. And I think that one's gonna work. So there's the Chanel card holder. And that zips up beautifully, but it's right at the zip line. So yeah, you could certainly fit the Chanel um, zip around card holder in there. And then Let's see what else can this fit in the middle. We'll see if that'll close up with my AirPods. And it does beautifully. So you can stick your AirPods in there as well. I was gonna say um, the Louis Vuitton passport holder, I might have to get that. It's not deep at all. So I do not think it's gonna fit in there, but we'll, we'll check it out to see. Um, and then of course on the interior, you can see the coach embossed the logo embossed on either side you can see it down here and then i hope you can see that but it's right here and right here in that middle compartment super pretty uh let's see all right let's do the compact wallets so i would put the victorine in that front and that fits perfectly um, we're going to put our Kindle back in, let's see if that fits in there. Yeah. And that's too tall for the, the Kindle's too tall for that middle compartment. So you're limited in that middle compartment, but again, you can just put cards in there. You can put, um, receipts, those types of things. Let's see if the phone fits in there. 
Oh, and the phone. You can put your phone in there, too. It fits beautifully. So if you have the big phones, too, you guys, that fits. I thought the largest one you can you can have. So, yeah, it fits beautifully for the Pro Max or the 14 Pro Max. Um, it fits in there, the iPhone. Uh, let's see. What else? I'll leave the phone in there because I would, I would definitely want to take my phone. But I'd want to leave it to where it was easily accessible. So I'm going to put that right um, in the front. And then I've got my compact wallet. Does it fit longwise? It sure doesn't. It does not. What about Rosalie? Does that fit longwise? Oh, it does. So the Rosalie can fit both vertically and horizontally. So we've got those three, four pieces already. And I can fit more. So we will put another card holder in here. And I'll stick that on the interior of this pocket. I'll stick it right there. But I feel like that's all you could fit along with some paper, um, you know, receipts and those types of things, cards, individual cards. Then we've got the Chanel. And that, let's see if that, oh yeah, it does. Wow. So the Chanel will fit on that pocket or the, the two pockets because they're the, the exact same. Um, you can fit that in there. So that's quite a bit. I mean, that's pretty impressive. So let's close her up. And she closes beautifully. And then we'll get the Gucci card holder in here to see how that fits. So the Victorine, you can only fit just like this. You can't fit it this way. Or can you? Hang on. I think I may have lied. Hang on one second. I think you'd be pushing it. But yeah, I lied. So it does fit. But see, it's strained a little bit here. So I don't think you'd want to do that long term. But it does fit that way. So it fits both ways. Let me get my phone real quick. Sorry about that, guys. All right, just stopped. Okay, so that fit beautifully. So yeah, I mean, that is perfect. So here is the Gucci wallet. And let's see if this will fit back here. So everything is in here. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I had this in here as well, and that fit perfectly. So you've got those six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Kindle's right here. So that's six. And then here's the Gucci. Let's see if we wanted to really go crazy and try and fit all that in there. Wow. That's going to fit, you guys. That's insane. Wow. So that fits. Again, you've got some strain on the flap. So definitely wouldn't recommend if you want it, you know, to last for a very long time. But wow, that's impressive. It does get pretty heavy at that point, though. Um, so let's take that out. And then we'll just kind of, we'll stick these back in there because I usually do have my AirPods with me. And you just kind of have to play a little bit of Tetris. And you can close it up. Yep. And again, right there. So let's, let's see what we can take out to alleviate that happening. So we will do that and see if that works. So I just took out the Rosalie coin purse. And I think it just, because it is leather, it's going to do that regardless. Um, because it's a lot easier to close. But I think because it is leather, it's just going to do that naturally. Which I love. I don't mind that at all. So as you can see, guys, this is a beast. It does carry quite a lot. If you carry a lot like I do, this will definitely work for you. We're going to go ahead and measure really quick um, with my measurements. And then we will do the mod shots and then we'll be done. So let's go from, I guess I'm going to go from the top of the interior right here to the bottom. So that's how I did it. And that's five inches. And then if we went from the exterior, and this is full, this is with it full. I mean, the top would be like seven inches. I don't even remember what they did on the website, but maybe six and a half, seven from, from the top of this. So we've got the strap and let me just give you a close up of all these details. 
Again, you've got the puffy single strap, that short strap. This is just the leather. It looks like it's the grain leather. Just beautiful. And then of course you've got your gold hardware. And then you guys know I love this feature because I can't stand when, you know, the flaps go like that. So you've got that little leather piece here to catch your strap. That's awesome. All right, so let's do, let's measure this guy. And so there is the measurement for that. So if we're going straight, you're looking at about, mm, yeah, about seven inches for sure. And then we've got, this is on again, the fourth hole and there's seven. So on that fourth hole, and I'll have the measurements um, per usual for you guys uh, up top and down below. So you're looking at, on four, you're looking at, yeah, a good 20 inches, 20 and a half inches. So again, this is going to be fantastic for any heights, any sizes, because, you know, you've got all of that room. And again, I'm 5'3", I'm, and I'm going to show you how it looks on me. Um, there's so many different ways you can carry this, which is, again, amazing. And I honestly think this is dressy enough. Like, if you wanted to take that long handle off for a night out, um, I obviously am a crossbody girl, so I would leave it on there. But I think it is super dressy. It's a great everyday bag for sure. Um, extremely, again, versatile is the word that comes to mind because you can use it in so many different ways. But this is the Coach Tabby 26. Um, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and do uh, mod shots. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any video requests or if you have any questions. You guys know how to get a hold of me. All my information is down below. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Take care. One thing I forgot to mention, you guys, is if you definitely, you know, I think I said this in another video, but if you want to go under the radar or incognito, this is such a great bag to do that with as well. It's still a very classy bag, yet it doesn't scream like a luxury brand. It doesn't scream Louis Vuitton. It doesn't scream, you know, Balenciaga or whatever. Um, it's, it's just simple elegance. Um, so I wanted to make mention of that as well. Small city thing.